Chopper 5 was over the Santa Clara County Fairgrounds earlier this afternoon. You can see long lines of cars with people waiting to get tested. The demand for testing continues to rise as cases surge. In just the last month, the county has seen an increase in visits from 5,000 a week to 20,000. Joining us live now, Dr. Peter Chin Hong, infectious disease specialist with UCSF. And Dr. SF Unified requiring vaccinations for all staff, or if they don't get vaccinated, that's mandatory testing. Other districts requiring students to wear the mask. Which do you think is the best way to go to protect, I guess, first the teachers and staff, but the younger children who can't get the vaccine yet? And of course, you know, the families they go home to. Well, Ellen, the answer is clear. The top three uh, ways to protect the kids are vaccines, vaccines, and vaccines. And since they are not eligible for vaccines yet, the under 12 set that is, the best way to protect them is to form a wall of immunity around them. So that is vaccinating teachers, staff, parents, uncles, aunts, grandparents, any adult in contact with the kid. Israel is allowing some younger children with high-risk health problems to get the vaccine. The American Academy of Pediatrics, I read, urging a fast track for vaccinating the young ones. How likely is that to happen here, given what did we, we reported 94,000 new COVID infections in the past week were in children? Well, I'm hoping that it could be faster, but right now they uh, moved up the timeline a little bit. We were hearing that it would be the fall at some point, uh, now we're hearing that it may be at the end of September, at least for Pfizer. We, we would expect Moderna to come a few months later than Pfizer, but that's kind of the, the current estimate. Personally, I wish it would be available right now. I don't think it'll be a mystery as to whether or not it'll be effective, but I think really what's, uh, you know, probably wanting to make the trial a little bit longer is making sure that the safety signal is is okay so i was at the doctor just last week and he happened to agree with the who the opinion that this is going to go from a pandemic to being an endemic disease maybe more like malaria so if it doesn't disappear could the world get a better handle on it if it becomes more geographical when it does hit year after year yes exactly and that's the model that we've seen with other respiratory viruses as well uh, you have basically, you're not going to eliminate, and I don't think you can eliminate uh, SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, mainly because it infects animals as well, and you can't kill all the animals that are infected hmm. um, because of that animal reservoir. So you'll be seeing a kind of whack-a-mole approach with a surge. You try to suppress it. We probably develop better drugs, kind of like a time flu for COVID, where you can also give drugs as well as vaccines, which will be the ultimate solution. Just back to the little ones for a second. Now, with school starting up, should we avoid getting those kids together after school, sports practices, weekend events, things like that? Should we avoid that? I mean, I think, you know, there's a hierarchy of risk uh, that I think parents all know really well now. And it depends on what community transmission is. I think by the time school really kicks in, by, uh, you know, September, sort of like after a few weeks into the year, all levels in the community in the Bay Area are probably going to start going down, if not sooner. In LA, the rate of increase is already going down a little bit. Remember, they started their mask mandate a little bit earlier than we did. So if that continues to go down, outdoors is always safe with kids that you know indoors will probably be safer then and by then hopefully we'll have a vaccine certainly the kids over 12 and over can already get their vaccines so if you vaccinate that group uh that will be a safe proposition as well and a high percentage seem to be getting that shot so dr peter chin hong thanks so much a pleasure as always thanks so much alan okay